Welcome, everyone, welcome. You are here to participate in the audition of a lifetime. There is a commercial opening in Europe and they want you to play the role. The director wants the setting way back in medieval Europe on a feudal manor. This is where serfs worked on, for their feudal lords and farmed crops in exchange for protection. Um, okay, excuse me, how is that going to work? I mean, it must have been great getting protection from everything, but it's not entertaining. I want, I want to go home. You know what? I don't even care about the money at this point. But what about the fame? This is Europe, big time over there, you know. Your career could go international. Do a farming commercial? Yeah, I don't know if you want the role, but I sure do. I can picture myself. Hey, Andre. Silence, everyone. Hopefully, you have already submitted your headshots and information to admin. Nan picked up a number. Number five, we are ready for you. Looks like that's me. Good luck, dude. You're gonna need it. Dude, don't intimidate him. That's what you have to do to your competition. Learn from the pro. One minute for preparation and maximum two minutes to perform. Here is your topic. 800 to 1200 was considered the medieval warming period. You need to create a scene using information I give you. Go. The cue card says when the three field system was created, one extra field was able to be harvested. Well, I remember some things on, um, from history class about this. I know from basic knowledge that warmer temperatures made crops grow for longer amounts of time, which also produced more food. Um, also, the three field system looked like it helped yield total, more total harvested crops. And from this, I can say population increased from a food increase. It's getting hot in here, so now more crops will grow. If you implement the three field system, you'll have more food and your babies won't die. Hey, dude, I think you're next. Uh, I don't want to go. It's not that bad. Okay, I'll give it one shot. That's me. Bring away the pal. Maybe for real. Now you're getting the hang of it. You have two parts of your audition. A minute to perform for each. Here is topic one. Peasants use manure to fertilize their fields. Manure? You. Well, I guess that must have represented the poor lifestyle that the peasants had to live under. And they must have been very resourceful to think of manure as a good fertilizer. Here is the second part of your topic. The water powered mill is where the peasants went to grind the grain after harvesting. This is also where they paid their tax to their feudal lord. Is the mill where the peasants went to have their um, harvest taxed and their, um, for their feudal lords and they kept a small portion for themselves? This makes sense. Um, Hi there. Have you been having trouble harvesting your crops each year? Has your family been suffering from lack of food and been poor, broke, and just dying? Well, I have a solution for you so you can get your more food. It's called manure. It smells like poop, but quite frankly, it is, but it gets the job done just fine. Once you're done harvesting your crops and you're ready to go, now you can come over to this water-powered mill over here where you can simply put it in the mill, and ta-da! Your nice crops that will last you and your family the entire winter months. Now, even though you're supposed to pay taxes on these, I forgot to, so I gotta hightail on out of here before the feudal lord comes. But bye now. Here is your topic. Another not too popular technique that came out in the 1500s was heavy plowing. This technique of plowing was suited for deeper and better soil. The card is saying this was a quicker technique, but it did require oxen. Well, I'm going to say first of all that these soils were probably located in northern Europe because they were deep in wet and the climate up there matches the soil that would probably belong there. Also, since this type of plowing needed oxen, the peasants probably couldn't afford to plow like this. Do you own an oxen? <laughs> well, maybe heavy plowing was the type of plowing you need. As long as you have an oxen, you'll be right and good for this. I don't even know what I'm saying. You know what? My audition is over. Probably number eight. You're our last auditioner for the day. Here is your topic. The padded horse plow came out in the mid-800s. Horses could pull three acres a day, while oxen could only pull one. Go. 
Alrighty, I'm positive that since horses could get work done faster, the need for workers was like lessened. So that made workers be able to do other jobs other than farming. Alright, do you want to be a blacksmith? Or an artisan? Or maybe even a baker? Well, the pet horse polo made this all possible. Yeah! That was amazing! nerve-wracking. I'm never nervous. Why should I be? Camilla, just take your mind off of making it or not. What's one thing you learned today? Well, I now know that medieval agriculture was the reason for the big population increase. With longer growing seasons and bigger harvests, the more people were able to survive. Europe's agriculture really reflected the lower level of culture, too. For realsies, because peasants were the only ones that worked in the field, so you could pretty much learn a lot about them in just one afternoon. Listen up, everybody. We have decided the finalists for the European Farming Commercial. Numbers 2, 5, 6, 8, 12, and 20 are our final choices. Yeah, yeah buddy! buddy!